of how your mama doing how's your mama doing uh, I, I, this video uh, like you see all these shows flashing back flashing through you probably think oh he's gonna play music and say oh guess what this show is what's guess the shows and all like that hell no I ain't gonna do that I'm gonna talk about the shows that my generation me and my sister generation that we grew up on back in the 80s and 90s that we used to watch on Nickelodeon, ABC, CBS, uh, CBS, NBC, Nickelodeon, and uh, Nickelodeon Disney back in the day, from the 80s through the 90s. Now, like we used to like, even some MTVs had some shows. MTV had some shows like Liquid Television, Celebrity Deathmatch. Uh, even USA had some weird shows I used to watch, or like Duck Man and Weird Science. The the movie ended up getting a show, and, but I still watch it, even though it's the shows for adults. But I still watch it. But growing up watching all this, even Transformers, not the movie, but the cartoon. You can't sit there and say you never saw these shows bullshit if you grew up in the 80s and 90s you saw every show this on this fucking video in this fucking video I'm, I'm talking about back in the day where you used to sit there and knew every line to Captain Planet almost every line of Captain Planet even even certain video games got shows like uh, the Mario Brothers Donkey Kong. Like some, uh, as my friend, I, I I used to watch these shows. I used to watch uh, the Ghostbusters movie. Who didn't watch the Go uh, Go Goosebumps movie? I mean Goosebumps shows. Uh, I was trying to look up one show called Get the Picture. It used to be an old show on Nickelodeon with Mike O'Malley. And I used, me and my sister used to watch this shit and. and Watch the Disney Club, uh, the Disney, uh, Mike, uh, with, with, with Mickey Mouse Club, Mr. Wizard, Muppet Babies, the Muppets, the Mr. Father, Shepard, who, who didn't watch, uh, Pee Wee Herman's, Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse. You got the shows that you, even Reading Rainbow, Reboot, Recess, Ren and Stimpy, Rocky Borinko, Roundhouse, Road Rats, Sabrina, Salute your shorts, say by the bell. Uh, and half these shows are playing today. Are playing today, and I'm sitting there looking at us like, are they playing some of the shows today, like uh, like uh, Teen Nick is playing all the 90s are all there, but they only showing a certain amount of shows, like all that and Keaton the Kill, Doug and Hey Arnold. I say you gotta come on and gotta play the rest, man. You gotta put put that uh put that shit out there that was on through the nineties. I said, what was that guts? What was uh Legend of the Hidden Temple? What was all that good shit through the nineties? There was a there was a show called Pinwheel, and that was in through the 80s. And this shit right here, like, uh, like I'm tired of, like, my nieces, they're the old enough. But back when I was little, man, they had these shows, I couldn't figure out Teletubbies. So what the fuck is a Teletubby? We had Sesame Street, Dougley Do-Right, Underdog, Eureka's Castle, Fantastic Man. Figure out that new fucking a new version of figure out fuck that bullshit I like the old one better I'm talking about the one when they had every cast on every show on there and it was kick ass cause they had a beautiful host hosting that figure out show back in the day like me and my sister used to, like Nick Arcade was the shit man me and my sister used to wear that show out was Nick Arcade and 
watching Mr. Wizard just to find out how to make shit. Then watching one Saturday morning, watching your favorite cartoons on one Saturday morning. I said, you can't find shit like this no more because they won't play it. If you turn on, if you if you get up on Saturday, turn on ABC, you're never going to see a fucking cartoon ever cross that damn station again because they killed off all the cartoons. ABC is about to quit and then NBC and Fox and the CW. All these damn networks are killing off the cartoons and only people, even Nickelodeon's killing off the cartoons. Disney and Nickelodeon are killing off these cartoons. And I'm sitting up here, man, like, damn, man. That's like, the shit I grew up was the shit. I said, we didn't even have all that live show shit. We had more tunes, more cartoons than the live action shows. Because I remember back in the day when Snick used to come out. Who didn't watch Snick? Who didn't watch Snick? Because I remember watching Are You Afraid of the Dark, Ren and Stimpy, uh, Rub Rats and Doug, Roundhouse. Then they brought all that on. Like, I used to watch that shit. I say, all I'm, all I'm sitting up here is my like, I say, what, to me it's like this, yes. to me it's like this, yes. I think Nick, I think Nickelodeon and Disney need to pull this out, do this and pull this shit out their ass, just do this, they need to make a channel, make a, make a channel, it could be an old school channel, to me I think they need to make a channel, Disney and Nickelodeon need to make an old school channel, and get all the cartoons and all the TV shows, the live action shows for the kids from the 80s and the 90s and put it on these old school shows from 80s and 90s, every show that was from 80, from 1980 to, to 1999 and just cut it off right there from 1980 to 1999 because Kids don't know, like, cause we, like, if you look at these kids shows now, you see how much bullshit is on it. Yeah, that was the grassy back in my day, but I never watched it. So I was fifteen. What was the, what was the biggest fucking show that everybody watched back in my day? Fucking Saved by the Bell. Fucking Saved by the Bell was that shit. That first season when that was Zack Slater, Lisa Turtle. Screech and Kelly Kapowski, Jesse Spano, on them. They said that was the best season that ever landed on TV. But after they left, and he's trying to get more views, more, more people, not like the new people on there. The show never made good, good views. Like I'm saying, these shows that we grew up on are dying off but only the kids today is getting a taste getting that sweet taste of what we grew up on in the 90's all I'm saying is they need to get that look they need to go and make them out make Disney need to make an old school Disney Nickelodeon need to make that old school Nickelodeon get all these shows from the 80's and 90's posted and we just start playing on those channels. See, back in the day, when I was a kid, man, I was young. Who didn't watch Nick Jr. Elephant and Friends? Who didn't watch Nickelodeon? Nick Jr. Gullah Gullah Island? Who didn't watch this shit back in the day? And now they finally making a, cause I'm flipping through the channels, man. They finally made a Disney Junior. What took you like to me? It's like this. What took you so long? What took Disney so fucking long to make a Disney Junior with Nick Junior, where Nickelodeon already had a Nick Junior, and it was whipping ass and taking names. But like I said, man, they these kids don't know what 
the hell they missing? If like like you if you watch what 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 is it? Uh, Disney XD they start playing them. Uh, uh, Mighty Morphin, uh, what was it, uh, Power Rangers, Ninja, Ninja's Power Rangers, fucker, that is a rerun, man, that was a rerun show, I'm talking about that first season, with Zach, Ke uh, Zach, Kimberly, Jason, Billy, Trina, Tommy, that was that, that was the season, I, like I said, man, these, you can't find this shit no more. Watching, uh, I remember PBS used to have Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. If you ain't played that game on your fucking computer, you must have watched the game show on PBS or watched the cartoon. And I remember who didn't have the book of Where's Waldo or watched the show. I remember I used to. Watch this shit, Big Bad Beetle Boys, Bork, Bonkers, Bumpin' and Night, C. B. and Jamal, Captain Planet, Cat, all this shit. I did not like Cat Dog, and I damn sure didn't like Hey Arnold. Cousin Skeeter, Count Duckula, Count Duckula was my shit, and Darkwing Duck, Tailspin. Uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, uh, one with Scrooge McDuck. Ah, uh, what was the one with Scrooge McDuck? Ah, oh, I forgot it. Was, he was he had his nephews. Who we doing, Louie and Launchpad? I see, but these shows would make my childhood the best childhood I ever had. Back in the day, man. These shows was kicking ass, and you can't find this shit, man. You probably saying, okay, what is uh, what is Liquid Television that do? That was an MTV show. Same with the Celebrity Deathmatch. And I used to watch them when I was a kid because Liquid Television was a, like an animated show for grown-ups. Just, as, just like uh, the Spawn. Just like Spawn when he had a cartoon show on MTV. Same with the Max, the Head. I was saying the head, yeah, there was an alien living inside this dude's head. It was it was called Odyssey. There was a show called Odyssey, and they only played three sh shows on it. There was Spawn. It was either Spawn, the Head, or the Max. And it played, and I used to watch this. I'm telling you, I'll tell y'all this. This is what it is. For the my generation, this is what y'all need to do. It's, instead of trying to make a video like I did. Because one, well, scratch that because I, I go on YouTube sometimes and I look this shit up trying to see if they got, got videos and shit. And it's always motherfuckers doing doing what I'm doing now except they putting music to it fuck it I'm gonna talk about the shows fuck the music I wanna hear somebody talk hey man this is a kick ass show back in my day I know I sound like an old man when I say that shit but these was the shows for us man we didn't have no motherfucking shows where girl was, girls were wearing half ass shit and motherfuckers busting more slack than we did yeah, back in the day, we bust slack, but not like these fucking kids today where they busting their drawers down to their knees. Trying to tell everybody to fuck me in my ass. Uh, no. We didn't have all that shit, because back in them 90s and the 80s and 90s, we had that censored shit. We had that censored shit, and we had that shit. We had that show. We had that. We had all that. All that. Kids Incorporated. Mighty Ducks. Mighty Mouse. Mother Goose Story Times. Like I said, Tyena was was the best show. If she, like she her show was from 2000 to 2005. That be that girl didn't even get a show, man, much, as much. They did her wrong, man. Her show was kick-ass. If they would have played her show from 
the 90s she would have had the greatest views and the best ass ratings in the world because back in the day we would have watched the shit out of her show the Crip Keeper Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle the Mask come on y'all all these shows that we grew up on don't even exist no more they killed the childhood that we grew up on. Wild and Crazy Kids where Omar Gooding was hosting. Now it is kind of funny that Omar Gooding went from Wild and Crazy Kids. How you get, for one thing is, he needs to stop getting them, punk, them damn thug ass parts in the movie. Motherfucker, you was on Wild and Crazy Kids. How you gonna be hard and your bitch ass was on the Nickelodeon show? How you gonna be hard and your ass was in Ghost Dad? How can you be doing these hard? Like I'm, I'm, I'm a thug. I'm hard. You can't be hard when you was in Ghost Dad and Wild and Crazy Kids, motherfucker. Double there, man. I'm telling you. Dougley do right. Dougley the dragon. Eat the cat. I'm telling you, man, if I could, I, I just wish either that Disney and Nickelodeon just have two show, two more channels where they play the old school shows that I grew up on from the 80s to the, from the 80s through the 90s. Because to show what we grew, grew up on, if they have Nick at Night if they can have Nick at Night and fucking TV Land to place all the shit, I forgot Nick at Night and TV Land hardly ever plays them shows my mother grew up on. But if they can make a show just like Nick at Night or like uh, TV Land where they played all these shows, all these shows, I bet they wouldn't be a fucking. I bet these kids will watch it. Who didn't watch, uh, what was it, uh, School of Rock? Not School of Rock, uh, I think it was School of Rock. Like them songs, I'm just a bill, yes, I'm only a bill. How many motherfuckers went around the house play, singing that fucking song as a kid? Or singing that song, uh, you're singing threes. That three song, three, six, nine. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Who didn't sing that song? Or Conjunction Junction. Conjunction Junction. What's your function? I grew up on this shit. Secret World of Alex Mack. Angry Beavers. Batman, Spider Man, Superman. Even Beetlejuice. Bill Nine, the Science Guy, B uh, Bobby's World, Beekman's World. I grew up on that shit. I remember ABC and C, uh, ABC and CBS would play their uh, Saturday morning cartoons because I used to watch the shit out of all of them. I used to be flipping like here from two to from two to five to six. No, it's from to ABC, to CBS, and Fox because all the great cartoons was on. Then WB had some tunes come on, and that was the shit because I used to flip to four channels: uh, ABC, C, uh, ABC, CBS, Fox, and WB. And that was it. That was your morning cartoons. So after all the cartoons was over with. ABC and CBS had two more shows to, for kids, and it was that movie. It was like a long, it was like either a long out, it was like an hour movie, or an hour and thirty minute movie just for kids. And I used to watch it, man. I was like the, the shit. That was Saturday morning for me. Then after that, after you watch all your Saturday morning cartoons, where you go, you went outside to play. After you played until a certain time, be seven, almost seven o'clock. Almost seven o'clock, 
you go on and eat your dinner and all that yeah you're a kid and you're sitting up here watching you waiting on your TV shows to come on your snit you didn't watch your, you, you already watched your Milky Mouse Club and your Smurfs Thundercats and Tiny Toons and Underdog and Wiener Vic. you was waiting on snit you was waiting on snit now you was waiting on to watch them shows I'm gonna tell you this: You can't do that on television. It was a was a great show. I still remember it. When I was a kid, these shows was actually kick ass. Was kick ass. I wish they would pl play every show that I every cartoon show, every kid shows that I grew up on. Cause that would have been the shit. And I'm telling you, man, just watching this shit, just looking at these pictures, brains me brings memories back to me growing up. Who did like who didn't watch gummy bears? Inside out boy. Pete and Pete. That was the best show, Pete and Pete. Pete and Pete was that shit, man. Yeah, everybody remember Pete and Pete. Well Pete the little Pete had the tattoo of a a petunia on his arm. His the mom had a metal plate in his head. Michelle Trackenberg was on the show. Hey, Michelle Trackenberg, look it up. Look it up. Michelle Trackenberg was on Pete and Pete before before she went on to Harriet the Spy and before she went on to Euro Trip and before she even went to Black Christmas. These was the shows, man. I'm telling you, man, we need to get these shows back on the air that we that we grew up watching. Because I, I just get like Amanda Shaw I really I really can't stand her because her show was a fucking rip off her show was a fucking rip off because I thought of her show it's like oh her show is nothing but a rip off for all that and Keenan and Kale because Keenan and Kale was on all that for the longest time and then they got their own show so when they got their own show they live all that just to pursue the show Kenan and Kale and when Kenan and Kale before they even went off the air I think it was in, uh, before they even, even went off the air Amanda Bynes got her own talk, uh, her own little show and I thought it was the worst idea to give a child her, give her was that because she ain't really been in that uh, ain't been doing it for like what few years but Kenan and Kale been doing it for like six or seven seasons of but I thought she didn't need that show, need that show because they had she had Drake and Josh which they really wasn't big names anyway but uh but like I said man we need to get some of these shows back on there like they play Goosebumps and that's I'm happy they playing Goosebumps. Best. I'm glad they playing all that. I'm playing. Glad they playing Keenan and Kill. Uh, Doug and Rod Rats. But they need to bring back Randy. Let uh, keep playing Randy Stimpy. I used to love watching Randy Stimpy. Don't keep it like for real. I hate when they keep they bring the show back, but they keep playing the same old episodes every day of the week. Just three or four episodes. No, I want to watch the whole damn series. Not three fucking episodes. I remember when Reboot was on uh, ABC. And it went off for a while. So what happened? Um, Cartoon Network picked up Reboot. And started playing every episode it was. And I was happy for that, man. Because I sat there and watched it myself. When they brought back Reboot, 
I sat there and watched every episode without a beat, man. Because that was the show. The old school Mickey Mouse Club, no, the old school Mickey Mouse Club before Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, JT, and Britney Spears ever hit it. Before they came, that was that was already popping. Already popping. The best show that was popping like that before they rolled. Secret World, Secret World of Alice Mack. Journey of Alice Strange. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. You can't find this shit no more. Bonkers. I was talking to a buddy. And we got to talking about this shit. And I thought back. I said, man, I missed this shit. And he gonna probably say, say man, what about, what about Celebrity Death, man? We seen that. I, I used to watch that shit. I watched that shit. I I just don't want to sit up here and look all look up all these shows on YouTube because they don't really they don't really show the whole damn episode. You know what I'm saying? They really don't show the whole episode. Kablam! Who made like Kablam was that shit? Actually. Life with Loopy, uh, damn, Life with Loopy, it was some other shit they had on there, Life with Loopy, uh, Bob and, Bob and Philip, or something like that, the alien, the caveman, I was like, shit, man, like I said, man, all this shit gone, and what you see now, you see kids, you see these shows where, Kids are fucking getting pregnant. Like, how did we jump from shit like this back in the childhood? But how did shows like this go from this to teen moms, 16 and pregnant? How do we jump from all these cartoons, TV shows that we grew up watching to teen mom and 16 and pregnant? And it makes no fucking sense. I'm tired. I'm, and the funny thing is, man, I get to talking and some of the friends we talk about this show. Oh man, I missed the show. And it, 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 I, I was like, shit, man. I want to buy. I want to buy each episode of every show I love, used to watch on TV. I sit there, man, like I said, man, I sit there and I look at these people, it's like, how do we jump from cat dog to kids saying, fuck you mama, on national TV, how did we go from double dare and what would you do to American Idol, and American Idol to Dancing with the Stars, how did we go from that? Like I like, like to me, I like crank anchors. I like crank anchors, but how do we go from the Muppets to crank anchors? I, like I said, I ain't putting down crank anchors, but how did we come to that? Like, all, like everybody, like all, to me, all that was like the kid version of Saturday Night Live, and it was great. My brother and me, come on. I'm for real, man. I, I miss these shows like a motherfucker. And I know y'all miss these shows, too. Because that's going to be motherfuckers be like, damn, he went old school on this shit. He got all these pictures up. Talking about get the picture, hang time, snorks, Sonic the Hedgehog, Space Cases, Stick Stickly, Super Mario Bros. Tailspin, to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Who didn't? Like, all the boy. I remember. I remember my, my sister used to watch the, watch the show. It was called Jim. 
Jim, ooh, it's a Jim. I don't need this network called the Hub plays it, but I remember the old school, old school uh, Transformers and shit. Not this bullshit today. But that's all it is, man. It's it just. You can't find good TV shows like this no more. I really did. I like for real. I miss watching Bobby's World and Mr. Bumpy. Uh, I miss watching all this shit, man. Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Clarissa's Plains and All. Oh, Cousin Skidder, Danger Mouse. Daria. I know Daria's came in like the last few years of the 90's into 2000 but Earthworm Jim even Earthworm Jim had a TV show I'm just saying man if y'all agree with me and y'all think that all these shows that we grew up on if you grew up in the same genre if you grew up watching these shows back in the day and you agree me agree with me with this shit that they need to start bringing every show there was back on the air. Y'all got y'all gotta show some love. Y'all really gotta show some love on that. Don't sit there and say, yeah, man, I love. I wish they would. Now y'all gotta really put your ass into it. Like you really want these shows to come back on. ABC, like, cause I, I'm still a kid at heart. I will play a video game in a heartbeat and I'll watch my fucking cartoon, Saturday morning cartoon. And, but they're dying off so quick. They die, they kill off. The AB, ABC don't even play cartoons no more. And it's gonna be C, CBS, Fox don't even play it, CW. They just can't out. All, all these damn live action shows where kids are fucking and getting pregnant, okay? If that's how these uh, networks want to grow, where they want to teach kids how to get pregnant, fine. That'll be on y'all. But I just, I just wish that they would bring every show that Nickelodeon and Disney had and Cartoon Network back in the day and like Dexter, Dexter the Laboratory, Cow and Chicken. Man. I sure do miss this shit. Oh, man. Gumby. Y'all yeah, remember Gumby. Uh, Tintin. Tintin. Not the fucking bullshit movie. I'm talking about the cartoon show. Tintin. Tintin. Bonkers, man. CB and Jamal. Oh, what about when Fox used to send you the magazine? And you be looking through it like all oh, the shows. Hey, what show coming out? What's new show? What's the latest gear to get? Best toy to buy? Whatever. I remember that shit, man. That was like the best shit. Casper. We had the updated version of Casper. It was right after the movie came out, Casper. I'm talking about the one with Christina Ricci that movie and they had Casper the friendly ghost is the cartoon after that my mother grew up on Casper but I'm telling you man all I'm saying is man these shows should be I wish they would come back instead of bullshit if y'all think that these shows should come back man y'all gotta y'all gotta support like one thing is man <laughs> these shows are just kick ass Especially watching the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers was badass. Rocco's Modern Life was silly. Randy Stampy was just some shit. Man, you just can't find these shows no more. I wish they would just come straight back on. I'm, I'm cool with the 90s, all that. But they need to change up the lineup more and more every day instead of playing to keep playing. The same old shows every week, every day of the week. All that Keen and Kill or Doug or uh, Hey Arnold. Mix it up. Bring some Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, some Roundhouse, Hidden Temple. What would you do? 
just start doing it like this, they're playing the same old shit. Cause what was around October? It's been like a year now. Around October, what was they doing? Playing nothing but all real monsters and uh. Are you afraid of the dark? They ain't play no beater juice. I say, is that the only time they're gonna play? Are you afraid of the dark and uh? Are you, are you afraid of the dark and uh? Well, shit. What was that? What was that? Uh, the other show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? And... But you know what I mean. And like, I don't think they should do that because I think it's bullshit because these shows mean so much to so many people. Like, I know some people go out and they go to the video store to buy it or Netflix or something like that. The, or go online and look up the whole season of certain cartoon shows or certain shows and buy in and bring it home. I said, I said, to me it's like, okay, you buy it at home, you can watch it anytime you want, but when you watch it on cable with your kids, it's worth watching with your kids. And that's all it is to it, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe 10, like T.I. is. If you like what I got to say, man, if you like what I got to say, leave a video response or a reply, reply video uh, or a comment. If you don't like what I got to say, kiss my ass. But, cause I, cause, no, hold on, I'm going to say this before I go. I make these videos for the people and I hate it when people sit up here and they'll say the stupidest shit I don't see why you make videos why don't you delete your delete your video your uh, your profile or your channel if you hate my damn channel so fucking badly why do you even come to my channel why do you even watch my video you have many choices many videos you can watch but when you leave comments like that on a person's video it makes you look dumb as fuck because you could have picked any other video to watch to watch but you chose to watch my shit and put you need to delete your channel that is the stupidest shit that, t that tells me that you ain't got enough common sense to just watch it just watch any video you want if my video sucks that badly I don't think if you don't like my videos don't watch my shit but more and more more and more people want to sit there. You need to delete your channel. You're stupid. You're a dumbass. Like I said, if you don't like my shit, don't watch my shit. I say, because if you go, look, because one thing is you can hate on me all you damn, all you fucking want. And you're going to say, if you don't, if you're going to keep on watching my shit, you ain't hurting my feelings. You ain't hurt my feelings if you keep watching my videos. You gonna actually make me give me good views if you keep watching my videos over and over again, leaving the same fucking comment. Fuck you, Afro. You're dumb as shit. Keep watching my videos and give me high numbers. Make me out be Ray William Johnson or Ali or Fred or Tayzande or I Justine the Fine Brothers or Joe Nation or Shane Dawson. Keep watching my shit. That made me out beat them motherfuckers knowing that I don't get paid like they do. There's no skin off my nose. There's, you actually making me money. Don't be no dumb. Uh, that's how it is, man. If you don't like my, like I said, if you don't like my shit, don't watch it. Let the people that likes my shit watch my shit. 
don't sit there and rain on other people's parade because you dislike what I'm saying. I have people, I have supporters, subscribers, and followers that, support, that sit there and support me. They don't bullshit. They'll sit there and say, Afro, I disagree. And they'll tell me why they disagree. And I'll sit there and I'll respond back. I say, you do make a good point. And that gives, and, I, and that shows, it shows me. I'm showing them respect as just as well they showing me respect. Because that's all it is about. If one of my subscribers in there say, Joe, I think you wrong, cool. If I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. I say, you know what? I am wrong. But you don't have to sit there and say, do all that bullshit because you hate me. You're actually making me look good by being a hater. By keep on watching my shit over and over again. See, you know what? I don't call them. No, you know what? I don't have haters. I forgot. I don't have haters. I have dick and booty ass people. But like I said, man, follow me on Twitter. And I throw Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. Holler at me. If you support, if y'all. I'm for real, man. I wish they'd bring all this shit. I know Sesame Street's on still, but to bring every other, the rest of the other shows back on that we grew up watching, man, it'd be a happier day. It'd be a happier day for them networks, man. We'd be wearing out them channels. They fucking ratings go up and go through the roof like it did through the 90s. But like I said, man, peace, love, and Afro Grease. All right, y'all, y'all have fun and, show, and really show Afro Joe some love. Peace.